class so translating rules um, we have some ideas here before uh, I mean we have the rules this is the main thing for for the uh, translating rules here uh, we have four different uh, step the the definition in the top we have uh, translating rules are written in the form x comma y uh, translated to x plus h comma y plus k okay this is the the general formula or general uh, rule um, we have to study uh, looking looking up uh, looking this uh, how what is the meaning of the h what is the meaning of the k um, where the h is the horizontal movement and k is the vertical movement uh, then we have these four things um, the first the first the first the first idea or the first uh, step uh, or the first definition if h is positive look at if the h is positive the pre image is translated to the right okay it's translated to the right if the h is positive right here the H is positive, then translate it to the right. If the H is negative, look at, then the pre image is translated to the left, right? The movement, the H is horizontal, okay? Right here, right or left. And K, look at this. If K is positive, then the pre image, pre -image is translated into the up okay, it's gonna be up if a k is a negative is negative when when k is negative then the pre image pre image is translated to the uh, to down right to down so this is the the main ideas of the translating rules that you have to keep in mind not forget it this this kind of thing, this kind of clue, or the main ideas for translation rules. So we have H, we have K. When H is positive, move to the right. When H is negative, move to the left. When K is positive, then move up. When K is negative, move it down. So K moving up or down, and then H move left or right. All right? Let's go, and and then. Uh, Try to solve one problem. Okay, see the problems. I want to write um, one example here. Um, I'm translated. Um, triangulo. Triangulo K R S. Okay. You seen you seen um x comma white translated um x plus look at the data uh let's do write a negative minus six come plus four okay you have the problem there we have the problem and then we are gonna graph we're gonna make a graph to show you the, the this case see make a graph right here I'm gonna make a graph right here um, just fast it's very simple Okay, um, one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Two, three, four, five. So this is X, this is X, this is Y, and this is Y. So now, uh, let's, um, 
Let's uh, make a triangle. The triangle Q R is is in the points. A point Q Q Q is a Q is five comma three. Um, R R. Let's do um seven comma one. And S, let's do um, 3 come negative 2. So those are the points of this triangle. So now um, plot the points in the coordinate plane. The, the Q is uh, 5, 3. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. Right here is a one point. This is Q. Okay, and then the other point is a R. It's in seven, seven, one, one, two. Right here, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. And right here. This is R. And S is in seven, is three, 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 and negative two, right here. Three is the point right there. So let's try to make a uh, the triangle, I'm going to make the triangle right here, so you have the triangle right there, QRS. So now, uh, this triangle, this problem, we have to move Here, we have the, the, the problem right here, so we have to move, um, I'm going to erase this, anyway you have the points right there, so uh, it's, let's write H, how much is H, is H and the data, H is equal 6, right, H is equal 6, right here, right, and then K is equals Four. Mm -hmm. Equals four. And then the movement point. Movement point. Uh, point is. Six units left right six units left and then and four units four units four units what four units up okay so up left and up so do the movement right there do it uh, let's do um right here so six units left let's move the q we're gonna move one two three four five six six units left this is uh, the first one r one two three four five six okay six units left right six units left and then uh, let, let's continue the, the same the, well this one one two three four five six right here but from here look at this this point another final point 
We moved six units. Now we have to move four units up. Four units up. One, two, three, four. Right here. Right here. It's gonna be Q. Okay, Q prime. And then R from here. One, two, three, four. Right here. Right? It's a R prime. And then S, we have to move one, two, three, four, right here. So this is S, right? It's prime. So you have ready the triangle. This is the triangle. Translation, tra translation triangle. Translated triangle. Okay, right here. We use the coordinator plane to move translated. Translated the triangle. We translated six units left and then four units up. <clears throat> now We have um, those, the conclusion. What will the conclusion? The conclusion. Uh, I mean, let me do. Let me do this same. This same with the same data. Let's do. Let's let's solve the problem without the uh, coordinator plane. So let me move. Let me erase everything right here. So we use the coordinator plane to solve the problem to, to find the translator. But now. Now we have to solve the problem without the coordinator plane. So now solve the problem without 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 coordinator plane. So how solve the 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 problem? Okay, just write the points again. Let me write the, the data right here. We have uh, the Q, Q point is a, uh, Q point is a, uh, that point will be, will be on uh, 5, 3, right? 5, 3. So that was the, the before. And then R, R is in at 7, 1, 7, 1. And S, point S is at um, 3, come negative 2. All right, those, those are the points. Very simple to solve the problem now. First, first, first step is point, uh, take a point, Point Q. Okay. Point Q is a uh, five three. So fill it out the information right there. We're gonna have we're gonna have a uh, X Y translating to um, X minus six come Y plus four. So substitute, here we're gonna have here, here. Right, we have five, right, five minus six. Right? Come and y is three. Three plus four. Okay. You simplify here, you're gonna have minus one here, come and seven. Right? This is uh this is gonna be the point Q prime Q. 
let's do the next point. Next point. Next uh, point is R. R is 7 and 1. Right? Then substitute. We're going to have um, here. Yeah, we're going to use the same, same formula just so I write the process x um, x is 7 uh, minus 6 oh. home, comma and 1 plus 4 ok this is a uh, point uh, here uh, you simplify you're going to have is one here come and five so this is a uh, q this is r prime right there next one last last point is s three minus two So here is going to be 3 minus 6, comma, and minus 2, plus 4. There. So the answer is going to be minus 3, comma, and 2. Right? The point is S prime okay that's it the way to solve so that is the, the, the way to solve without use the coordinated plane just use the numbers use the data the points here and then plug it in plug plug in the, in the, in the formula and the, and the formula that you have and the problem that we have in this case uh, X comma y is, is translated um, x minus 6 comma y plus 4 is translated so the, the, the triangle this triangle this triangle q r is translated from these points to this each point to minus 1 comma 7 q and then r prime 1 comma 5 and then um, s prime minus 3 comma 2 this is another way to solve the problem uh, without use the coordinated plane uh, using the translating rule uh, this is uh, one problem with where we apply the translating rule in, in geometry champion okay so this is that's it